on hey everybody we're back and uh i guess uh, uh our lukey doki had some reaction to the uh, oscars the other night and they were going to talk about that you go right ahead start us out what you what do you think of the winners well uh i i was pretty happy about our joker friend getting back best actor i think he deserved that for sure um I, I guess I just have to say that I'm pretty happy about who ended up winning the Oscars and what they, you know, were assigned for. And I think that uh, we did we did pretty good this year. I uh, Parasite ended up getting to take home Best Picture, and from what I deduct, it was a very uh, intricate film with lots of depth and layers to it, and. I'm looking forward to go back and watching it with actual subtitles and, you know, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I just want to yeah. say, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of having a brain fart, but I think everyone who won an Oscar definitely deserved it this time around. There was some really good movies that were up for Oscars. Yeah, and uh, I, I've got to say, you know, as well, I have to reiterate what you said because, you know, it is there are very few people that uh, I would say were upset with the decisions. Uh, but, you know, looking back at everything, uh, the reason why, you know, I think Parasite was well deserving, you know, like we feel, figure everybody's figures. I mean, here's the thing with Joker. Joker is a perfect movie and it's very rare because there's really no plot holes outfits are good um things like that it's not like the most interesting but the point is it, it's a perfect movie because you don't have like the stupid things that make movies bad you know what i mean and right yeah I you. they're just really enjoyable movies this year yeah and so and i'll go over other things too as well what made this probably in some ways a better year i mean one thing is being young person yeah i i like movies when i was younger differently and now watching the oscars now i understand why these older people like these oscar movies now because it you know they do something different or whatever and like so with parasite visually i think it's stunning because uh let's go over the windows real quick the windows what the one family sees through the window and then what the other family sees through the windows and if you go to parasite you'll know what i'm talking about is he used the windows in both uh families to show what each family is looking at like a movie screen and which is in a very great take because people see a lot of things through a movie screen or a t television screen nowadays because we've got these widescreen televisions and it's really a great way of showing that you're in two different environments. And so that's one good thing about this. Number two is with Disney selling out to certain people has hurt them creatively. And so I don't know what they're going to do to try to make movies a little bit better because without cowering too certain industries that they got cower now these oscar movies however they were not kowtowing to any industry and that's what the beauty part of it is like joker like I said we believe that he didn't get the nomination for best movie because or the movie itself because we felt it was too controversial and that parasite was pr pretty safe and i was right about that so my prediction about that was spot on of course, I got it down to 1917 and Parasite, but their weakness that I felt with 1917 was that it was too gimmicky with the one-way shot, no matter how hard <laughs> they worked on it. Uh, you got to have a story, and, the, and then whereas Parasite had more of a story than 1917 did. Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. It, it was definitely aesthetically pleasing, and I don't know if any other movies have really shot like that before, so it was interesting to see but as far as story goes it was hard to you know not not get in a rut of uh you can't show any time passing mm -hmm. and and the thing is is with um you know it's like i said with parasite 
uh, I love how the director just talked about the movies and he was so grateful. He was so thankful, you know, that he was, you know, he was just felt so, you know, blessed to be up there. And you look at some of these Hollywood people that are there, they're like, oh, I should be up here. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was it's such a uh uh really blessing to see how and some guy the other day had to bring this out and you know because i've watched all the oscar reactions some bad some good some just i can't even mention they're so awful some of the reactions are and but the director of uh one guy pointed out he said do you see how grateful he felt and how uh how much of gratitude he felt that they were pouring on him he had such respect for the other directors that were nominated for quentin for um you know, martin scorsese and all those and and i thought yeah I, I noticed that too and the way he just kept on just talking about the movies and less about anything else and i thought that was really a breath of fresh air how and uh just just he just seemed he was so you know likable and you know i'm glad he accepted war and i like his humility of uh of of accepting it and and it's just, uh, you know, I can't say, you know, I could criticize everyone, oh, this is a bad year for movies, but there were some guys that really put some effort this year. I, I, I just, you know, from Martin Scorsese's The Irishman, it wasn't the same Godfather ripoff. Uh, you know, Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is not a Pulp Fiction remake. Uh, the Marriage Story, it was actually something that really needs to be addressed nowadays. And they addressed it. I can't really Very complain. Well. Yeah, well. I can't complain really this year. And uh, as cynical as I get about movies, you know how cynical I am. Um, they did put some effort into it. And I, I wish that movies were popular as they were years ago. And I can't get that, you know, feeling back. I have to accept, you know, there's other mediums out there. And, uh, and I hope people are using their creativity for those mediums. But there you go i mean did you want anything to add on to that not not really honestly i i think it's you put it pretty well yeah it's it was a, it was a good time i i just um and i don't know how i want to address it because i think about writing a blog about more about this but you know i just it, it just like some of the negativity towards um parasite really ticked me off and and you guys know who you are the critics that had to sit and endure this stuff because i studied up before i i went on to this and and there's there's people that are fair if you uh i'm gonna give some shout outs to some guys that really gave parasite a fair look was uh if you go to red letter media and i have really been kind of like where we're at and what i want to try to get our review show at go to red letter media guys and look at their review of the parasite this week because it was in a, uh, what would you say, rebuttal to these horrible, horrible reviews about Parasite for winning. And they really address that issue in a really good way. And you guys out there, watch that. And of course, you guys won't watch this till Monday night live. And I want you guys to chat and uh, on the bar screen, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm I don't have anything negative to say really what happened. I I think, like you said, what was deserving happened. We knew Joker wasn't going to win his Best Picture. We felt that was a safe bet, and it's a shame that there is a little bit of what would you say sway of anger out there uh towards joker for doing it and it i mean it's fair both ways i think there needs to be a good rebuttal for the joker but be fair don't poo on somebody else's artwork just because your film didn't win i think that's really awful and it's really disrespectful for what these people put into it and i hate saying that because it makes me look like a sellout but th that's the truth i mean uh, Parasite addressed their, the issues they need to address. I've never seen anything like it. That's what I think the reason why Parasite does get a 
a good nod because we're tired of seeing the old, same old thing again. You like you you were talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre one time, and the old man don't go into the cabin. And how many times has that been done, right? And you were talking right, about right. that. I mean, I Completely. Yeah, exactly. And this was a movie where it was like, you think everything's going to go this way, and then right in the middle half of the movie, you're like, they pull the rug out from underneath you and say, this place is not safe. <laughs> and you begin to think, why is this on here? Because this is a Korean horror film? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. So there you guys go. Uh uh, on that, and uh, if you didn't have anything to go on that, we were going to, we're going to try to play a game tonight. You want to go ahead and play that game and get that out of the way, and then get you out of here today. Okay, so she seems pretty crazy, but I see some sharks. And don't be crazy uh, shaming. Don't cr be crazy shaming. <laughs> This is me filming kiddo when they were younger. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That's accurate. We have a mysterious blonde there. Yeah. Ranger danger. Sharks are so cool. Sharks are so cool. There was, whenever I went to Florida when I was a kid, and you'd get, like, this really cool, fancy drink, they would put a shark in your drink, and it looks like that's what that shark is. Uh, this was uh, filmed in Tennessee. This is our local uh, kind of movies we make here in Tennessee. Oh, gosh. This lady. I think it is safe to assume that this one is a uh, shark exorcist. Okay, we'll wait until the end and I'll let you know. You said you like to get wet. <laughs> you said you like to get wet. Crazy. Now this is when you put copy and paste on the Pro Tools, you get this kind of music. Yep. <laughs> you put... But this this girl with the sharks though, I love her. <laughs> I'm gonna date somebody like this probably. <laughs> nice, yeah, for sure. This is weird. This is. You think? I thought this was pretty normal. This is Oscar worthy. We talking about? Oh gosh. We're not done yet. Okay, I can take a hit. <laughs> I think she's struggling with her pants, ain't she? <laughs> a little odd. You know, this scene sings longer with some watching with you. She's still playing with the sharks. And this is the thing someone said, and I think this is the reason why this, somebody was watching this with me and they said, you know, uh, is it she's, is she supposed to play a child or is she actually uh, mentally challenged? Either way, that's creepy. What are you doing? Yeah, either way. <laughs> it's kind of odd. You're freaking. <laughs> You're freaking. <laughs> Thank God it was only a dream. I was like, oh, why am I clipping? Oh, weird. Yeah. Well, there you go. You think this is Shark Exorcist? I think so. All right. We'll put it on there and we'll go on as we go on. So this is, uh, that's the first clip. And it was all a dream, folks. Yeah. 
and enough of mentally challenged uh, things. So here's the next uh, clip. Those glasses, though. Yeah, this is like an older, older movie. You're probably a little kid all in the... Now, the people who made this film was supposed to make the first Spider-Man. Really? Yeah, but uh, they get so they ended up going bankrupt, and so it ended up at Sony's. That won't be easy trying to steal my claim. Because I'm Australian. Oh no, she's got rocks. Wow. Wow, yeah. really? <laughs> Versus versus guns <laughs> that's a big skillet I hey, aren't you that supermodel don't you oh my just... god don't you love that voice? Your voice, what is going on? <laughs> it's like someone's taking uh, fingernails and just scratching a chalkboard. Oh, no. <laughs> because not right. Not right. Or not right. They'll kill me if I don't. <laughs> His accent. Nice I'll kill me if you don't. <laughs> Alright, fine. We didn't have a budget to shoot oh, blanks off, anyways. You know, to come to think about it, I don't think they fired one gun in this movie. What it looks like. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks He was gaming too much and he died. So weird. What do you think this movie is called? I, I have no clue, honestly. Is it Alien from L.A.? Suburban Sasquatch? Repo Jake? Miami Connection or Shark Exorcist? Uh, I'm gonna floss with this because I'm Australian. <laughs> it's a Repo Jake, I guess. I have no clue. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, Kathy Ireland agrees with you. My dad. <laughs> I'm gonna find my dad. Can I get What did he just kiss? Is that somebody's skin? That's weird for sure. You're not gonna leave me here with these guys? I think. <laughs> I'm gonna find my claim for somebody else, guys. She sounds so crazy. <laughs> you don't like that voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You convinced me. How did they make it all the way over there if that's, that vehicle oh, falls over? Oh no, your glasses. Uh, I'm sorry, mister. All of a sudden you became attractive to me. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Get in on that side. Get in on that side. 
So you think this is repo, Jake? I'm guessing. That's my best guess, to be honest. I have no clue. You guys, is it repo, Jake? Shark Exorcist, Suburban Scash, Watch, Alien from LA, or Miami Connection? Where are you from, anyway? Long story. It's a good thing that we don't watch the entire movie to find out the long story. Yeah. All right, here's the next movie. And here's little kiddo. Oh, great. That's that same girl from the first one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, kiddo. <laughs> Oh, look at the cute progressive lesbian couple. <laughs> this is an inside joke. <laughs> now this movie won for best sound design. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this one's Suburban Sasquatch. Why would you say that? <laughs> Wow, give these ladies an Oscar. I love... Hey, do you smell something? Like what? Like what? Tuna! <laughs> he disappeared. Oh, great. I, that was a girl left mask. Dear God. Dear God. Uh, run! <laughs> wow. Oh my God, what this, were you is, doing? this is so crazy. I don't know what <laughs> I got ketchup on me! Oh no, run! Oh god! <laughs> Let me just rip your leg off. <laughs> I'm telling this one for sound design. Yeah, for sure. Okay, was that her hand? Wow. Just... Rip out your arm, too. And then attach it back on. Is she start, she's, it looks like she's trying to keep from laughing. Oh, God. I thought, I thought she already lost her arm. How does she have another arm? <laughs> it grew back. Like... She's like Wolverine. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I can't cross that road. It's sacred Sasquatch territory. Oh, well, whatever. So you think that one is suburban Sasquatch? I think so. All right, here comes our next movie. Wow, fourth place. Yeah, but there was only four schools that competed. Oh, great. Now, see, the guy on the right, he looks like I'm the future call center guy for your company. Great, yeah. <laughs> I love how up to date these computers are. 
I wonder how many rifles I can put in this trench coat. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. I mean, this guy just totally looks in the smell of brute and oh, high yeah. karate cologne. <laughs> It stopped. Oh. Yeah, it stopped for me too. Oh. Let's see if it, I wonder why. Yeah. Well, it, I'm going to say that that one was Miami Connection. Right. We'll go with that. And. All right. For that. So let's see what you got wrong. So you got Shark Exorcist because we had. The girl with the shark. <laughs> you got suburban Sasquatch, right? The only one that you got wrong was the one you said was Repo Jake. So that was Alien from L.A.? Uh, that was Alien from L.A. Odd. Yes, uh, Alien from L.A. was the one, and that starred Kathy Ireland. Back when, like said, uh, Canon Pictures, uh, Melan Globus, who uh, are Golem Gol Globus, like said, right before uh, you know they bought, they were going to get make Spider Man, and and of course, like said, uh, they were the ones who made Superman Four as well, and that's the reason why there was no Superman Five, thanks to them. It was their probably their highest budget movie was Superman Four. Um, the uh, one, the shark exorcist watching it was someone felt very uncomfortable that scene. It was very odd for sure. Because, but I just got a kick out of it uh, because of, I got a kick out of it because the whole girl, she just cracked me up when I first saw that. It's like when she goes, sharks are so cool. <laughs> And then the whole yeah, for sure. And, and then the, the, I was like, oh, okay. And then the the whole thing with the I love the part where she goes, well, I can take a hint, right? <laughs> and she just like so dumps, weird. dumps in the water. They say I don't know how true this is, but the guys who looked at, like I said, it was filmed in Tennessee. They say that the guy who made the film has a shark woman writhing fetish is what they call it okay then <laughs> and because uh they, they i only watched that one scene that's the only scene i've seen of the entire movie because it cracks me up every time the girl does with the whole charts are really cool i'm gonna eat you and all that it just like actually but he says if you watch the rest of the film there's like a bunch of women like writhing on the ground and it's like all through the whole film. And he says, you kind of figure that this guy has sort of a fetish for it. And he said that's what he thinks his theory behind the whole film is about. And then they say like after you watch the film and the credits come up, there's like a little scene afterwards, which is really weird, where they follow a woman into... Yeah, they follow a big old weightlifter like a female weightlifter at the end, they say, and I can't remember what it, but it's crazy. But it's like, he said, you have to watch the entire film to think that this guy's got a weird thing like Quentin Tarantino's got on, going on because it's really weird. And But that scene just cracks me up with that girl. <laughs> I just can't help but laugh because like, I love the way he say, sharks are so cool. <laughs> Weird. I was like, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I give you a couple of sharks and redo that scene. <laughs> sharks are so yeah, cool. Sure. But that alien from LA is just terrible. I had if you you cannot watch that entire thing with uh, Kathy. It's 
it's got Kathy Ireland in it, and she's a supermodel back in the 80s or 90s, I guess. She was like, a, that's back when like swimsuit models could like make lots of money and stuff. And she did like uh, beer commercials and Kmart. She she was the Kmart person for a long time. I don't know if you remember Kmart. You remember Kmart? No. Okay, well, Kmart was like, just recently went bankrupt. But she was like, if you, uh, she was like, had her own line of clothes for Kmart. And her and all, who was another one that used to have a claim, uh, a um, there was a couple of them, Rachel McClish, and I think there was uh, the girl from Charlie's Angels. They all had Kmart line of clothing, which was like the Walmart. It was, they were pre Walmart. That's the best way to describe Kmart. Yeah, before Walmart, there was Kmart. It was called Kresge's, and then it went to Kmart. And now they're bankrupt, but she was like had her own line of clothing for Kmart. So that pretty much tells you where she ended up at, you know, a bankrupt store. But she did this movie. And all through the movie, they're making fun of her voice. And it's like, if they're so self-aware about her voice, why did they choose this voice and let her run with it? Right, that's so weird. Because it's it's like I said, it's like listening to someone, like, you know, a chalkboard where you got someone scratching on the chalkboard. That's how her voice just uh, transitions on the a movie. It's just so awful. Just a horrible voices. Uh, I mean, you can name, can you name movies where the people's voice just drive you nuts? We were talking about the other day, like kids' movies where their voice is just like, no, with these movies. Cause some of these, uh, you can't watch, like, I thought about, at first I said watching a full entire movie, but man alive, these movies are so bad, you would just, there's no way you can survive it. You know, uh, right. you, you, you would uh, contemplate suicide. Or something really depressing and that's um reason why i thought doing these clips give you an idea there are some parts where they are not trying to be funny but they end up being funny like the suburban sasquatch scene that to me is oh my goodness cringy funny because it's like you got this couple and you've seen the monster attack and then he comes out in this gorilla suit and the worst thing is like the additions they add to the gorilla suit are so awful and it's it just makes the did you you know what i'm talking about with the sasquatch movie what was your first yeah. reaction when you see this outfit? And it's like... Low budget, definitely. I mean, I don't know. It looks pretty crazy. Yeah, and it's a 21st century. That's what that's what makes you upset. Because it's like you've seen so many cosplayers with so many uh, good outfits. Mm. Not a problem. And I'm glad you did trudge through this. And like I said, you know, I know it's not been an easy road for you. And uh, I'll give you some closing comments on some bad movies. And we'll get out of here because, um, you know, we both both need to get well, cleaned uh, up. Rem Lazar, the, the making of Rem Lazar, yeah. <laughs> I think that's that's that was a pretty bad movie that we watched. Um I feel like it's pretty on par with these other ones that we just previewed. Yeah. And you think this is something you and your friends might want to try out sometime? Potentially. I don't know. I mean, I, it, it it's definitely harder to sit through a cringe movie than it is an entertaining one. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we've reached our mark. I want to thank you guys for joining us uh, tonight. Uh, I want to get on with you guys, and uh, we've got to get out of here. Uh, and like uh, on the comment section, we want you this tonight is uh, and send us on Instagram as well. I'll put a thing on Instagram. Let us know if you were happy with the Oscars. Okay. Sounds good. All right, thumbs up, everybody. Catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. Who's your daddy?